Thank you. Thanks. I was told I was doing carpool karaoke, so this is <laughs> a bit of a letdown and a lot of pressure. So. I am bad in bed. I think we should get that, that out of the way. I mean that in every way. I'm bad at sleeping. I am the little spoon in my relationship. I am a male little spoon. There's not a lot of us. We're not out there winning wars, but we exist. I don't like being the big spoon. It makes my belly hot. I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm a feminist. I think a woman can do anything a man can do, and that includes holding me in the fetal position <laughs> until I fall asleep. Right? Yeah. This isn't the 1950s. Get out of that kitchen, put your apron down, and come in here and press your boobies against my back. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do with your other arm. You wanted equal rights, figure it out. <laughs> You're not jamming it under my neck, I promise you that. I have a $120 pillow that remembers how I sleep. I'm not letting you shove skin and elbow under there. I'm also a father, I am a dad. I have a three and a half year old daughter that I love more than anything in the entire world, and that includes my 10 month old daughter. Not a fan. I've heard my whole life that you love your children equally and you can't have a favorite, and yet the first time I held her, I thought, nope. <laughs> I've been lied to. Bring back that old baby. We brought our new baby home from the hospital, as you do, and we set her on the floor, which is a thing that happens. My old daughter comes up and she goes, Daddy, when she wakes up, can I teach her something? Well, that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard, favorite baby. <laughs> of course you can teach her something. It's one less thing I'll have to do with her. And then she woke up and my daughter goes, I want her to stop breathing. <laughs> well, this took a hard left. She said, I want her to stop breathing. And then she just covered the baby's mouth and nose with her hand. And that's how you make people stop breathing. And I didn't come here to brag about my kids, but it's very advanced for a three-year-old. <laughs> I can't afford them. I cannot afford these kids. And I mean my kids, specifically. I could afford two kids. I can't afford mine. I got expensive broads running around my house. My three-year-old orders off the adult menu everywhere we go, like she's a Kardashian or something. <laughs> we were out to dinner one night, and she goes, Daddy, can I have salmon? I didn't have salmon until I was 29 years old. <laughs> you can have the fingers of a chicken. <laughs> or the tender part of a chicken hot part of a dog. You see where this is going. <laughs> We're done having kids, which means I don't have to go into delivery rooms anymore. Hopefully, right? <laughs> I think it's stupid to bring a dad into a delivery room. It doesn't help. It's worthless. No dad has ever helped. No one knows one story of a dad helping. The doctor bursts through the doors, pulls down his mask. We were in some real trouble back there. Luckily, that man was roaming around in everyone's way. <laughs> pointing to things, saying, what's this do? And where can I plug in my phone? He's the real hero. Thank you. They make you dress like a doctor. I didn't know that. You have to put on doctor scrubs. Not dad scrubs, doctor scrubs. You roam the halls of a hospital dressed like a doctor. People coming up to me, are you a doctor? No, I just banged that gal on the table a while back. And they let me dress up like this. The only reason they want the dad in the room is so you can take a picture of the baby way before it's time to take a picture of a baby. <laughs> this doctor pulls it out and, Daddy, take the picture. Oh, I don't want it and you can't make me. <laughs> She's purple and dripping and still hooked up. <laughs> can you unplug her first? Who am I gonna show this picture to? <laughs> you wanna see the scariest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Ah! <laughs> All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh my god, Tommy Johnny!